welfare pissed after President Trump requiring work for welfare. Do you support the rule? President Donald Trump's 2018 budget will save $190 billion over the next 10 years by requiring able-bodied adults to work to receive food stamps. President Trump wrote in a letter to Congress, we must reform our welfare system so that it does not discourage able-bodied adults from working, which takes away scarce resources from those in real need. Work must be the center of our social policy. White House Budget Director Mike Mulvaney said at a press conference, if you're on food stamps and you're able-bodied, then we need you to go to work. The number of recipients on food stamps skyrocketed recently. 50 million Americans now receive food stamps and use electronic benefit transfer EBT cards at grocery or convenience stores to buy food and drinks. The 50 million citizens on food stamps amounts to 15% of the population a substantial increase from the 17 million Americans who received food stamps in 2000. Food stamps, officially known as the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, cost taxpayers more than $83 billion a year. The government remains unable to rein in costs because the government does not have statistics as to how much food stamps recipients spend on kitchen staples such as meat and vegetables compared to soda, candy, and potato chips. A 2011 study confirmed that food stamp recipients spend more money on candy compared to any other food item. Robert Rector, a welfare expert at the Heritage Foundation, said that requiring work for food stamps was at the core of welfare reform in the 1990s. President Trump is picking the gauntlet off the ground where the Republican Party dropped it. Trump's budget would require states to fund $1 for every $4 the federal government spends on food stamps. Well, if you're able-bodied, I don't see anything wrong with this. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.